residents in Prairie Village, Kansas are miffed by what they say is an extremely loud ice cream truck frequenting their neighborhoods. Resident Joe Houston shared cell phone video with KSHB 41 Action News of the noisy truck that he says visits up to six times a day. The music can't be that loud. Let's listen to it. I can barely hear it. It's very quiet. <clears throat> He said that the truck's song and volume are driving him crazy, adding, They don't need music. They can ring the bell. Name another industry where it's okay to put a speaker on top of a car and go driving around neighborhoods blaring it. Yeah, Joe Houston doesn't want to hear really loud ice cream trucks. He wants to hear his really loud fountain. Neighbor Chuck Baldy is also upset by the ice cream truck that always comes by at dinner time. And I'm sitting there trying to feed my five-year-old daughter a uh, salad. <laughs> yeah, and a five-year-old is totally gonna wanna eat salad when they hear an ice cream truck. <laughs> <laughs> What were we doing again? Oh, right, ice cream truck story. Chuck is also annoyed by what he sees as a double standard because these ice cream trucks are allowed to drive around his neighborhood. His pizza food truck isn't allowed to drive around the neighborhood. According to them, I make phone calls from my cell phone in my basement. Therefore, I have to have an occupational license. But can I actually do business there? No. Uh, yeah. Anyway, Frosty treats the ice cream truck company promised to work with the neighbors, but said the biggest complaint they receive is that their trucks aren't loud enough. I don't see how that's even possible. I think I'm going to side with Joe on this one. Local police have said the truck's noise may annoy, but does not violate any ordinance. Chris Long of Frosty Treats released a statement of apology. Frosty Treats is sorry that we have disturbed Mr. Houston. Our intention is to always respect the privacy and property of the residents of Prairie Village. Responding to customer complaints is important. We too strive to make the Odd News experience a pleasurable one for our viewers. With that in mind, let's go to the Odd News suggestion box. This letter is from Dave in Fargo, North Dakota. Announcer, you're annoying. Stop talking. <laughs> Thanks for saying hi, Dave. From Ruth in Italy, Texas. Please get rid of the announcer. <laughs> Thanks, Ruth. From Mort in Gosha, New York. I hate this announcer. Oh, Mort. No, you're great. 